Hello guys, this is Movie Lover and welcome to this Movie Lover world. Our movie begins with a real-life story of Cameron and Janice, a couple who practice S&M. They are in the middle of nowhere in their car, Cameron then pulls over and opens the trunk and asks Janice to help him. Distressed, she refuses but he convinces her, they take a woman's dead body out of the trunk and drag it into the woods. He buries the body while Janice is watching to keep an eye out. As the sun comes up, they finish burying the body, and they go back to the car. Devastated, Janice says that she didn't expect someone to die, but he tells her that he had to because she was screaming and they were going to get caught, and they drive away. In the morning of May, a girl named Colleen is standing on the side of the road, looking to get a lift. Sometime later, Cameron and Janice are in their car driving when they notice her. They offer her a ride, joyful, she accepts and they introduce themselves to her. Colleen then admits that she hitchhiked from Oregon to California to attend her friend's birthday. An hour later, they reach a gas station where they fill their tank with gasoline while Colleen goes to the bathroom to freshen up. Cameron takes out a box from the trunk and puts it in the back seat. They are on the road again where Cameron informs Colleen that they will make a stop to visit. Some ice caves, although hesitant at first, she agrees, they drive to the woods. When suddenly, he sneaks up on Colleen with a knife on her throat, or he threatens that he will kill her if she doesn't cooperate. Terrified, she complies, then he blindfolds her as well as gagging and handcuffing her before he puts her head inside the box in the back seat. Later at night, they go to their home where Cameron takes Colleen into the basement. He tells Janice to come down and he tears off Colleen's clothes before torturing her. And after he's done, he puts her head back in the box. The following morning, Cameron leaves the house to buy a potty chair and food for Colleen. He comes back at night, where he goes to the basement and feeds her. Before he starts to whip her, Janice is upstairs listening to what is happening and starts to feel guilty. A few minutes later, Janice is talking with Cameron. She asks him what he will do with Colleen, since she spoke to her and is worried that she will go to the police if they let her go. Cameron says that they will keep her in the basement. The following morning, Cameron builds a coffin of wood where he puts Colleen in, scared, she starts to remember the day she left home. Her father offered her to pay the bus fare, but she refused, since she wanted to hitchhike, and while she was in the bathroom at the gas station, she got second. Thoughts about the couple and was about to run away from them, but she decided otherwise. An hour later, Colleen's father Jack gets a phone call, where he discovers that his daughter is missing, he and his wife go to the police station to file a report about her disappearance. Six months later, Janice goes to Cameron's workplace to tell him that she's pregnant, also that they should release Colleen. Unconvinced, he persuades her otherwise. A month later, Cameron and Janice come back home after Janice had an arthritis surgery. He looks in the magazines and finds out about an underground captivity contract in one of the magazines, he tells Janice to write up a fake captivity contract and goes to the basement. He talks with Colleen about her being a slave, he tells her that he works for a company that manages the captive trade, also he makes up a story about Janice, who used to be a slave and being badly treated before he bought her. Terrified, she signs the fake contract and he tells her that she is now their captive legally, threatens her that if she tries to escape, the company will go after her family. The following morning, Cameron is talking with Colleen, he informs her about her new duties as his new slave, also that her name is now Kay and he puts a collar on her neck. Slowly, Slowly, she starts to do all the chores in the house. A year later, Cameron and Janice are in their home at night, where she gives birth to a baby girl. Amber, he lets Colleen out of the coffin to see his new daughter for a short time. The following morning, Cameron is talking with Colleen, he tells her a made-up story about a captive who managed to run away from her master and went to the police for help. But it turned out that the police were a part of the company and they caught her and then proceeded to cut off her limbs as well as her tongue. Frightened, she starts to accept her new status as a slave. A few days later in the morning, Cameron takes Colleen to the woods to chop wood. Janice starts to get jealous of her. While chopping wood, Cameron hurts himself. Colleen thinks about running away. Scared, she decides to help him instead. Later at night, he talks with Janice. She complains that he wants Colleen more than he wants her. He suggests that they share her together and she agrees. However, when he starts to have his way with her, Janice becomes mad, demands him to put her back in the box and never touch her again. For years since her abduction, Colleen has drastically changed, and one night, she sees Amber all grown up. Confused, she asks Janice how long she has been here. The following morning, Cameron and Janice are going on a lake trip leaving Colleen alone in the box. Colleen then starts to question why she's going through all of this, when suddenly, she starts to have visions about a priest, 
who tells her that the pain and suffering she has endured is God's test for her. Then she dreams about drowning, terrified, she kicks open the door of the box she is in. A few days later, Cameron and his family come back home, he goes to the bedroom where he finds the box door open. Afraid that Colleen has escaped, he searches for her, eventually he finds her in the shower. She tells him that she was reading about the captive's obligations in the book, about slaves and masters, later at night, he talks with Janice. He informs her that they need to let Colleen out of the box, she asks him if he will sleep with her, he confirms that he will do so, justifying his intent by mentioning a passage in the book that allows masters to sleep with their captives. Feeling guilty, Janice agrees to be more friendly with Colleen. The following morning, Cameron goes to work, while Janice lets Colleen out of the box and reads the Bible with her, they start to bond and Colleen becomes friendly with Amber as well. Six years since her abduction, Colleen has become Cameron's maid, where she does all of the chores. One day, they go to church together where Janice starts to feel guilty about what she did. After church, they're playing with Amber, when suddenly, Cameron comes home from work. Angry at what he sees, he takes Janice to the bedroom to whip her, an hour later. Colleen goes to the bedroom to comfort Janice. The following morning, Cameron tells Colleen that she can visit her family and that he convinced the company to let her visit, ecstatic, she thanks him for the opportunity. An hour later, they go to her family's home, where he warns her not to say anything suspicious or the company will kill her family, she reunites with her family at long last. Her family are ecstatic seeing her. Again, where Cameron introduces himself as Mike and leaves her with her family, an hour later. They are having dinner together, where Bonnie sees that Colleen is not okay. She asks her about her whereabouts all this time, but she doesn't respond. A few days later in the morning, Cameron goes to Colleen's home to pick her up. Her family then ask him about how they met, and he makes up a story that they met a few months ago, and that they are planning to get married, then they go back to Cameron's home. Later at night, Cameron is talking with Colleen, he tells her that he intends to marry her. Janice overhears them outside. Angry, she decides to go to her parents' home. The following morning, she packs her bags to leave the house. Enraged, Cameron then whips Colleen. Afterwards, he puts her in the shed outside the house. He leaves the house in his car. Janice then feels guilty about leaving her alone. She goes back to his house and frees Colleen. Janice tells Colleen to go home. But she doesn't want to betray Cameron. Janice informs her about how he killed a girl a few years ago, and they buried her in the woods. Also, there is no such a thing as captive company. So she can go home, Colleen takes a bus back to Oregon. She has spent years in captivity. And Cameron is finally caught by the authorities, was sentenced to years in prison. Janice has received immunity from prosecution since she has testified against her husband, and the movie ends. Thanks for watching. Movie lover will meet you again with new story till take care.